Uh, hey there, uh, it's um, clearly a gorgeous day. I got Mount Tam behind me, and uh, I'm here. The, oh, I'm Dave, by the way. Um, it's God, it's a gorgeous day. Uh, Marin County, California. This is the uh, Corte Madera Creek um, in, uh, I guess we're Larkspur or something, Kenfield. I don't know exactly where we are, but it's really nice. Um, here to talk about Dave's Picks Volume 18. Really excited about this one. Uh, I tend to get really excited about all of them. Uh, this is a show, 19, I think I mentioned this in the last video, that in 1999, when I started working with the dead, uh, Dick was turning me on to a lot of shows. Uh, I only worked with Dick for about six months, yeah, from about February 99 to August 99, during when he passed. And one of the shows he turned me on to was 7 76 and he said, it's unlike anything else from 76, uh, it's, it's much more like a 1974 show, with elements of a 1977 show, which... Uh, it's kind of like the perfect combination. I love 76 too, but uh, really wonderful stuff. Um, I think I've kept the camera high enough that you can see Mount Tam. Uh, sorry, I just realized I've got a great view behind me. I'm going to go out of the way. Um, and, uh, and so July 17, 1976. Uh, set the stage a little bit. Uh, oh, and my battery might die on this thing, so if I get cut off mid-thing, um, the quick sales pitch is that yeah, go to dead.net because it's going to sell out really quickly. They've tended to sell out in less than a week and usually in two or three days. So if you're watching this video and it's just been announced, go to dead.net because it's going to sell out and it's a great show. Um, so if the video dies, you know to go to dead.net, which is probably where you're watching this anyway. Um, so the dead came back, of course, June 3rd of 76 in Portland, Oregon. And then they did the two shows in Portland and then they hit the West, uh, the East Coast on June 9th through the end of June, uh, where they played in uh, Boston, in New York City, and in uh, Passaic, New Jersey. And they played in Philadelphia and Chicago. Then they took a couple weeks off and then they played two weeks here in the Bay Area at, uh, at the Orpheum Theater, uh, July 12th through the 18th. The 18th is the famous show, it was a radio broadcast. Uh, we've been asked to release that one quite a bit, and I think we will someday. We have multi-track of that. That show was recorded to multi-track tape, probably owing to the fact that they were doing a radio broadcast, so they were doing a full mix, so they figured let's just uh, record to multi. So there's a 16-track, 2-inch tape of that. So I think someday we can get to a proper um, live... God, it's hot. Uh, let me take the jacket off. Um, a proper live mix of that one, uh, the July 18th show. But the July 17th... Because I when when I met Dick and he told you know he was talking about July 18th like oh July 17th and I said oh I know the 18th he goes well everyone knows the 18th the 17th is where it's at and he played it for me and it was it was where it was at uh, the first set I'll get a little bit of first set um, interestingly it opens and closes with a Chuck Berry song uh, which it it opens with Promise Land ends with Johnny Be Good the first set very rare to end the first set with Johnny Be Good and to me the highlights in the first set are some of the Jerry songs. Uh, the Half Step is outstanding, and the, um, the Peggy O is outstanding. I really love the Peggy O in there. Uh, the Deal, it's, it's a real, oh, it, and the penultimate song of the uh, first set, uh, Sugary, really nice 1976 Sugary, which didn't quite hit the heights of the 1977 Sugaries, but nonetheless, it was a really good one. Um, so we've got the great Sugary, um, and then the second set, well, it's, to me, one of the most exciting second sets of 1976, which is saying a lot. I love the 1976. Think of the Syracuse show. Think of the Detroit show. Both of those have been released. That's on the fall tour. Summer tour, every show, I think. Uh, the Oakland shows at the, with The Who. Uh, tremendous seconds. Second set here opens with Samson and Delilah. It's common. I think they played it at every show in 76, with the exception of one or two, maybe. Um, Samson and Delilah, brand new. But um, the jam starts with Comes a Time. Oh man, it's good. Uh, comes a time is about 15 minutes long, including this nice outro jam, just incredible. Uh, and it goes into, and the second set is kind of strung together with the other one, so it goes into the other one. That goes into this crazy space jam, into Eyes of the World, back into the other one. In, in the Eyes of the World is really a kind of 1970, 74 version um, tempo of, of uh, a feel of, 19, of Eyes of the World. Uh, goes back into the other one, and this nice jam, uh, into one of my favorite versions of Going Down the Road Feeling Bad Ever. Uh, one more Saturday night after that. So great second set, truly exceptional music. Um, and it was all recorded by Betty Cantor Jackson, of course. So sound quality, you've got nothing to worry about. It sounds amazing. Um, encore, US Blues, pretty straightforward. Place was going nuts. They came back out for a 15 minute second encore of Not Fade Away. And it's one of the 
best, most exciting versions of Not Fade Away. It's kind of similar to the Garcia Band 1976 version of Don't Let Go. You know what I mean? It's kind of got that slow groove to it, but it's a groove. Like they are locked into the zone for 15 minutes as the second encore. And you know, as the as the as the precursor to the July 18th show, which is also quite exceptional, um, it's really a great night of music. Uh, it's a short show, so the first set um, is on the CD one, and the second set on CD two, including the U.S. Blues encore. CD3 starts with the 15 minute um, Not Fade Away encore, which then gives us a good almost hour, well, an hour of stuff to put on. So we put on a lot of the first set. Uh, we're missing the first couple of songs of the first set of the uh, July 16th show. So we've put on um, everything we had from the, the first set. Uh, the highlight for that for me is The Music Never Stopped, which was pretty new, 1975 of course, uh, into Scarlet Begonias to end that first set. If you're, if you're a subscriber to Dave's Picks, you're also going to get this incredible bonus disc with the second set, which... Of, of July 16th. It's insane. So if you were, if you subscribed, you're basically getting a four CD box set of, of two nights at the Orpheum 76. If you didn't subscribe, you're still getting a tremendous, tremendous release, really. Um, the July 17th show is one of, if not the best shows of 1976. Why it took this long, interestingly, I will tell you maybe why this took so long. We'd always had our eye on this show, but there were some pretty bad cuts in the, in the, in the master tapes. And it wasn't until quite recently, the last year or so, uh, and we know our archive pretty well, uh, that we realized that we had um, intercuts, which means as the tape was about to cut, Betty would record on another machine uh, music that would overlap that cut. So anyhow, easy fix for an engineer. Um, down the road and that's co luckily what we have so everything that's fixed on here is fixed with music from the show and in its entirety so there's no internal edits it's, it's the complete show uh, and it's really exceptional so get to dead.net this is number 18 we're just about finished wrapping up number 19 by the way in terms of selecting it which means we'll be going into production on it any day um, like I say here we are mid-April uh, 2016 so by I'm gonna say by mid-May it'll be in the can and ready to go and announced uh, early July maybe end of June uh, what we have our eye on we're pretty much set on it is really exciting unlike anything we've done um, really great stuff so once again that's Mount, Mount Tamil Pius in uh, Mill Valley I'm Dave Lemieux get over to dead.net um, yeah there's a lot of cool stuff happening down here down the creek uh, I'll try and pan over to it um, see if we can find anything before the video ends but again um, Dave's Picks 18 an exceptional show uh, turned on to me by Dick Latvala in February of 99 when I started working if it seems like I'm a little subdued it's because it's quite early in the morning and um, there's a lot of houses around here and I'm trying to keep it quiet so I don't wake anyone I might be having the morning coffee the last thing they want to see on their creek is me um, I mean last thing I want to see first thing in the morning uh, looking out my window drinking my coffee on Corte Madera Creek and you got me babbling away so I'm trying to keep it quiet so if I seem subdued my excitement is uh, kind of all in, all encompassing because it is an exciting show um, really uh, right from the beginning promised land good uh, half step great and from that moment on wow sugary love it comes a time to me, greatest version they ever played. Uh, the other one, Eyes of the World, going down the road feeling bad, and the Not Fade Away Encore. There are a lot of highlights in this show. Oh, there's a big river in here, too, that's really good. Um, anyhow, on and on. Tremendous Grateful Dead show. Davis Picks 18, if you're watching this, available now uh, at dead.net exclusively. Like I say, if you're watching this and it's just been announced in the last few hours or today, uh, get it soon because it's going to sell out really fast. These things do sell out within... Uh, like I say, less than a week, sometimes two or three days. Sometimes we've had them as little as under 24 hours. Uh, and this is one of those shows that I think will be that. Oh, one last thing, the package. Fantastic cover art, Justin Helton. Um, and we've, uh, in, the, in the booklet, we've got these incredible photos. Our good friend, Tom Stack, uh, you might remember his name. He was uh, head of merchandising, uh, or sorry, licensing and merchandise at Grateful Dead Productions in the mid 2000s. Um, good guy. Uh, he introduced us to a friend of his named Walter, who we've licensed some never before seen photos of the dead at the Orpheum. Uh, a lot of them, I think we got uh, eight or 10 photos uh, from Walter. Thank you, Walter. Uh, really great stuff. And then rather than liner notes, what we did is we, <laughs> We've got a 1976 review of the Orpheum shows, actually of one of the shows, not the show we've actually released, um, one of the other nights in the run, but the writing is so succinct about the Grateful Dead in 1976 and their comeback that we thought it was appropriate. Anyhow, it's by Blair Jackson from Bay Area Music Magazine, BAM. Um, 
really, really wonderful. Let's call it liner notes. It's a big article. We've also got some newspaper clippings. Nick Merriweather, once again, came through big with archival documents from this run of shows. Um, to me, it's one of the coolest packages that we've done. And if you're a subscriber, uh, I won't get too deep into it, but if you're a subscriber, uh, the artwork um, kind of goes together uh, with the bonus disc and the, and the main show. So do check it out. Uh, Grateful Dead. Dave's Picks Volume 18, available now at dead.net. Once again, excuse the subdued tones of my voice. Try not to wake people or bother them with their coffee. Um, because if this was later in the day and there was no one around, I'd be jumping for joy. Um, but keeping it quiet. Check it out. Uh, I'm Dave Lemieux, and uh, it's been a pleasure. And we'll see you here uh, at our next announcement, whenever that is. Um, should be pretty soon. Oh, well, I don't know. No, it'll be in... June or July for Dave's Picks Volume 19, which, like I say, we're just about done with, and it's exceptional. Um, oh, and Chuck, you're going to like this one. See you, see you later.